All right, guys, so we got our first sea urchin here. And the process of opening or getting into a sea urchin is a little bit tough since they got these spikes on them and they actually can stab into your skin. Some of this beautiful uni. Oh, look how nice that looks. We'll let some of the cucumbers stick out the top. All right, cheers. Alright y'all, so today I'm here at in Palos Verdes um, at like near Avalone Cove and the goal is going to be to dive out there and grab some, hopefully I'll be able to find some good sized sea urchins. Um, if you've ever been to a Japanese restaurant and got sushi, uni is kind of like a delicacy. It's actually some pretty expensive stuff as far as sushi goes. and. It's uh, definitely got a very unique flavor. So I'm looking to go dive and get some of the freshest uni you could ever possibly have or consume right out of this ocean. Um, I'm waiting for my dad to get here. Uh, my dad, he parked the car. My, da my dad's a trooper. He parked the car and it's, it's like a mile from here, but my dad likes to run. He's, he's training for the Boston Marathon in, in a few weeks actually. So, so he's gonna be running up, catching up with me here. And once he gets here, I'm gonna go dive on in and then the goal really is just to grab some sea urchins today. Um, if I see, I'll take my spear out there. So if I have an opportunity to, you know, snag a good, good fish, um, I'll do so. But, you know, really the goal today is just to, just to have some uni, enjoy it and call it a day. Check out the setup. This is my backpacking backpack that I take when I'm traveling, but this thing can hold tons of stuff, as you can see. We got umbrellas, spear guns, ice chests, blankets, tripods, you name it. And this bag has been with me to multiple countries, probably like four different countries. Try to get my fishing license back in there. There we go. Yeah, she's a trooper. We've been, we've been to a lot of places together. Another crazy thing about this place is there's, they've got this cave entering, this entrance, and sometimes rock climbers will come here and try to climb that uh, without any ropes during high tide. So when they fall, they fall into the water. But you can see it is pretty unforgiving if they don't go at high tide, especially with there being rocks down there. So it's, it's only like really experienced climbers that come here, I, I would imagine. See what else is here. Let's see if we can see anything else. Oh, check it out. Here's a little crab. Oh wow! Check. Okay, look. So you can see here. This is the exoskeleton of a, of a crab that just shed. That just shed. And now I'm wondering. Okay, well, where's the crab? Check this out. There he is how cool these rocks look just years of high tide covering them and low tide exposing them to the sun so this is just years of that back and forth process on a daily basis creating these really cool patterns and really cool designs all right so my dad's here as lifeguard basically oh oh making sure everything goes okay and it is cold man Okay, I guess we just gotta do this. Just gotta do this, bud. There's no way around it.
All right, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm king right now. <laughs> oh, it feels good to warm me up. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to wash this wetsuit after. Um, but here, I've also got one sea urchin. It's attached to a rock. And this is decent size. It's tough because sometimes when you when you think you have a good size sea urchin, you might bring it back into shore or bring it back home, cut open to it, and then there's really not any real flesh. So this would be about as small as I would go with grabbing one because you might still... Uh, by the way, I found a rock out here in the water that I'm just chilling on. Um, but this is about as small as I would go. And I'm hoping that I'll find some bigger ones because I think any smaller than this, we might not be able to get much, uh, much boonie. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in this little orange bag that I got from the farmer's market, and make sure not to lose the bag because I'm not trying to litter out here. Not in, not in Mother Nature. Okay, there we go. So one urchin in the bag. Back on land. No. I almost lost my goggle with a snorkel. Snorkel. You'd be surprising. You'd be surprised how easy it is to lose things out here. And if you don't keep things strapped on you, like all my things, like my go. Oh, my GoPro's in my hand. My GoPro, my gun. Oh, everything has straps. I'm talking a little funny because when you get out, out in the water, your lips get really cold, your body gets really cold, so my mouth needs to warm up, warm up so I can talk normal again. But anyways, check it out. We've got two good sized sea urchins, one for me, one for you, Dad. You ready? Hey, let's go. Yeah, dude, I had to look everywhere, man. Like, I, I, cause like, there's tons of them, but you gotta get the big ones, right? Wow. Otherwise, you never know if you're gonna get good meat in there, so these should be perfect. Oh, I gotta yeah. uh, first off put the safety on there. Now I gotta uncock these bands. This is how you unband your gun. There we go. So now this is totally safe. <laughs> hey, we got some good ones. Okay. All right guys, so we got our first sea urchin here. And the process of opening or getting into a sea urchin is a little bit tough since they got these spikes on them and they actually can stab into your skin and, and get a little hectic. Uh, but, as you can see, at the bottom of a sea urchin, it has a mouth. Okay, so we're actually gonna cut in through that mouth and that's gonna be our entryway. I've only got a glove for my right hand you know what, I'm just gonna switch this onto my opposite hand because I'm, I'm right handed, so I'm gonna use my dominant hand to cut. I'm just gonna put the glove on backwards. It's a little funky. Um, yeah, so you gotta cut it through the mouth. There's a few different ways you can do it, but this is the one that, that we're gonna be using today. Okay, so. Right into the sand. So I'll go rinse this out. And that actually worked out because the second step is to dump out all the liquid that's inside of the sea urchin. And it's a little bit tough to see, but sea urchins are split into these different sections, almost like orange wedges. So you're gonna try and find those. And once you find them, you're gonna just cut down them. I believe this is one. Split open like so. Doesn't that look appetizing? <laughs> yes, yeah, so you guys dump this out. Here's the sea urchin's mouth. So check that out in there. These two orange strips, that's the sea urchin flesh. And that's the actual meat that we're gonna be eating and 
Wow, that looks really, really good. See that? Yeah. We're gonna have to slowly, delicately try and get out of here. You have sea urchin or uni as you call it in Japanese restaurants in its freshest form you could possibly find it all right so I'm also gonna make a hand roll we're gonna make a uni hand roll first thing you gotta do is you gotta get a piece of nori seaweed paper get some rice on the left side spread that out next we're gonna throw it go ahead and throw some cucumbers on there now, we're gonna grab some of this beautiful uni. Oh, look how nice that looks. We'll let some of the cucumbers stick out the top. We'll pull out the uni a little bit more. There we go. We'll grab. Roll it up. There we go. I'm gonna pull out the uni a bit so you can see it. There we go. I'll put this on one side. Okay. That should probably be good. So now all we gotta do all we gotta do is eat it. Go ahead and get a dip. Ooh, show, show the camera really quick what yours looks like. Look how good that looks. Put, put that up close down. The uni just sticking out there. Oh, dude, that looks fire. All right, cheers, bro. Yeah, cheers. Wow. Honest reaction. That is good. Mmm, so creamy. Mm. That's good stuff. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, who need or sea urchin flavor? It's just like a really buttery, rich flavor. So it's it's something that you can't really compare to other seafoods. It's, it's got this unique creaminess to it, but we like it. So my favorite, probably my favorite sushi. Really? Yeah. Your favorite? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely a delicacy. Um, so whenever we go to Japanese restaurants, we always end up ordering at least like a few of those for ourselves. Sometimes some restaurants will crack a raw quail egg on top of uni. So it's like extra special, but uh, we didn't have that set up today, but this was this was a, a really awesome experience eating fresh uni, literally just caught a few minutes ago out of that ocean behind us. And uh, yeah, this was just a really fun experience. That's how you go diving uh, for, for sea urchins. That's how you cut them open and eat them raw. Uh, eat them, yeah, raw basically. I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you to the sea urchin for his life. We do appreciate it. Um, and we actually forgot to say a prayer, but God, thanks for the day. I be with everyone watching. Hope we all live great lives. In the name we pray, amen. And uh, let us pack up, clean this up, and get home safely. Much love, y'all. Thanks for hanging out, tuning in, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.